Konnichiwa, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to talk about tricking the audience. Present o Master Shima Show. This is the fifth year of the Presentation Japan Series podcast. We are beaming around the world to you from sunny Minato-ku in Tokyo. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy committed to your success, the president of Dale Carnegie Training Tokyo, Japan, and the three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. My new book in Japanese, Za Eigyo, is now available on Amazon. Become a better speaker who is clear, confident, persuasive, and highly influential at those around you. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn, who, unlike many other podcast hosts, have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesdays, the Presentations Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business of Tatsujin no Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. Every second Thursday, the Business of Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. This is episode number 285, 285. Today we're talking about leading your audience up the garden path. I was sitting in the lecture theater as usual in the front row so that I could catch everything that was being said. University was a big deal for someone who climbed out of the trench and put the shovel down on a Friday and hit the campus the next Monday. Calling me earnest about my studies doesn't even get close. On this occasion, we had a guest lecturer who was giving a talk on the Battle of Sekigahara, a turning point in Japanese history, which would usher in hundreds of years of rule by the one family, the Tokugawas. The professor was reeling off the 10 reasons why Tokugawa Iyasu won the battle, and I was diligently scribbling down all of these logical, worthy points. At the end of the 10 points, he then said, these were not the reasons, and then spent the remainder of the lecture explaining his views on the real reasons for Iyasu's success. This was very clever. By providing sound, credible reasons first, he had established his command of the literature and the related scholarship. It all sounded very convincing to me. And what is more, I had invested myself in recording it all. The bait and switch technique now elevated him above the rough and tumble of academic insurgencies over the finer points of history to stand above the fray and position himself as the one who really knew his stuff. His reputation was enhanced by a conjurer's trick of making the penny disappear and then draw it out from behind your ear. Academic illusionist or not, it worked like a charm. Think about the standard business presentations you've been exposed to. They're usually pedestrian affairs involving the doling out of data and information, specialized only in delivering the talk in a deadly, boring manner. Today, we presenters face the most difficult presentation environment in history. It has never been this bad. Our audience are glued to their phones and live in the internet for disturbingly long periods of the day. They have microscopically short concentration spans, are quickly distracted, and constantly moving, ever doom-scrolling and unable to settle. Then we turn up for our little party piece, 
representing our industry and firm, getting and keeping people's attention has become the search for the holy grail for presenters. Are we allowed to use magic tricks to grab and hold their attention? Absolutely we are. This is a zero-sum game we're involved with here, and we either get our point across or we don't even get a desultory reception. Technology and social media have made us experts at pattern recognition. This has always been a strength of our species, which has kept us going as we anticipate trouble before it arrives. This means that as speakers, the pattern interrupt aspect what we are doing becomes very important. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom. We do them live online and we do them in Japanese and we do them in English. Our program today is being brought to you by on the 21st and 22nd of April. We're doing our high impact presentations course. On the 23rd of April, our professional ongoing education series continues. On the 13th of May, we will have our course previews. And on the 18th of May, the Dale Carnegie course. Check out our website at www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. Lots and lots of value for you there. Now, to do better in Japan, email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Get my best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery. That's the Bible for selling in Japan and Japan Business Mastery, and my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery. If you like learning by watching videos, there are over a thousand there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube, The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which is the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays, Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews for any of you leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro TV show. Don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Welcome back. The lecturer mentioned earlier took us down a predictable path with a fulsome list of plausible explanations. He then executed a pivot and pulled off a pattern interrupt, telling us all of that was codswallop. We were invested on what he had told us, and I, for one, had written it all down. So the shock was palpable when he said, forget about all that stuff. Hello, hello, I thought. What is going on here? He had removed the central pillar of our commitment to the content and now promised to replace it with a much sexier version. When we're giving our talks, this can sometimes be added to our repertoire of techniques for commanding the attention of the audience. We can start with a predictable, safe version for the crowd, leading them up the garden path with content which is persuasive, plausible, cogent, and rational. Throwing all of that overboard creates a vacuum. Our brain doesn't like that and wants the correct version to be implanted, so we are all ears to hear the truth, the real story. We've also self-elevated ourselves above the fray and self-selected ourselves as the superior being, the enlightened purveyor of the most accurate knowledge and best quality information on the subject. This is a major credibility boost and the audience is wide open to it because of the way we've set it up. The flip side is you have to have the goods. 
If you say the standard interpretation is rubbish, then your next contribution had better be totally worthy of the rock star you are purporting to be. Obviously, we wouldn't put ourselves up on the high wire without a safety harness if we were not confident we could carry this off. This is where we need to have real knowledge and better research on the subject than our audience. We also have to deliver the talk with a passion for sharing key information with our audience. They will absorb the trick if they feel the intention was pure. Just being a trickster won't work. We have to deliver unexpected value and exceed audience expectations. Thank you for joining the Presentation Japan series. If you got value from today's show, spread the love around and share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. Immediately apply what you have learned today, use it, and go out there and become a presentations legend. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. <music>